It is Friday. Oh. oh my goodness. Excuse me. That came out of nowhere. It's been a minute since I last picked up the camera. Y'all already know. Later on today, and I'm most likely not going to vlog it, but a friend of mine, her birthday is, I think it's tomorrow. Shame on me, I should know it. Or is it today? I don't know. Anyway, she is having a small birthday dinner with just the closest friends and it's gonna be like a white attire and it's funny because when I told her I said girl I don't even think I have anything all white I mean I have white t-shirts with Disney characters on it but it's not appropriate for a dinner party and then I don't know why I I guess I caught her in a certain mood because I guess she was thinking at that moment no one was coming. I don't know. I guess she was thinking I was telling her that I wasn't going to come. And I'm like, no, that's not the case. Of course I'm coming. I'm just going to be out of dress code. And she was laughing then. She's like, oh, okay, because just come, even if you have to wear a white skirt or a white shirt. And I'm like, I honestly don't have anything that's I mean she's not asking us to dress like we're going to church she just I don't know just she just wants it themed all white so I'm looking in my closet just trying to at least you know try to find a shirt or something that has mostly white in it or whatever and I found a white dress completely white apparently I bought years ago that I had tucked on the side of my closet that I completely forgot about, still has the tags on it, and I tried it on, and I'm like, when did I buy this? Where did I buy this from? Yeah, so that's what I will be wearing. Yeah, I have an all white dress to wear to her party tonight, so yeah, I won't vlog that because I just won't. And then tomorrow, y'all, <laughs> So there's this lady that in our church organization, we go to different events and different concerts and just stuff like that. And you see some of the same people and you know, you'll speak to them and you know, they're friendly and whatever and you get to know some of them and some of them you keep in contact with and some of them, some of them you will only see at those events, right? So there's this one particular lady she may be a little bit older than I am so every time I see her we chit chat we'll talk here and there and she's really nice and she told me that her and her husband were married I think 25 30 years I don't know something like that but he passed away and she's like over the singles department in her church and whatever and anyway she's been trying to get me to go to one of her singles event at her church for a long time and I keep telling her and I'm gonna go and I keep making up excuses not to and it's just really weird and awkward and there's this one guy that she keeps trying to set me up with and he's like 60 years old but I'm not interested I'm not interested there is no attraction there nice guy I've never given given him any inkling any whatever that I wanted him I'm nice to him leave it at that I know what she's trying to do I know what the whole thing is, but I keep telling her no, no, no. So this time I'm like, let me just, just go stay an hour just to make her happy and leave. So the event is at her house in Stockton. She lives in Stockton and I'm like, I can go and make the excuse of, you know, I got to get back to Sacramento, whatever. So it's tomorrow and yeah, y'all. I don't want to go I really don't and I don't have to I thought that after the fourth or fifth time that I I didn't make up an excuse I just told her oh I can't make this one or I already have plans because actually maybe one or two I did have plans when she asked me but then when she um, asked me for the other ones you know I just told her no I couldn't make it I thought by then by be saying no 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 she wouldn't keep asking she keeps asking and I'm like she's not gonna give up She's not going to give up. She's not going to give up. <laughs> so I'm just going to go. And maybe by me showing up, then she'll be happy. And then she won't ask me anymore. So yeah, I'm going to go to this singles event. And I'm not opposed to going to any of them. I've gone to some of them before 
with singles that are my age in our church organization, but I don't want to go to it because this particular person that they're trying to push on me, I'm not interested in. Nice guy, whatever, but he's not for me. He's a, he's a nice guy for someone else. So, yeah. I'll update you guys on that if he's there. I'm hoping he's not there. I'm not going to spend my whole time talking to him. I'm I'm not a social butterfly. I am actually shy. I know you guys see me as who you guys see me when I'm on here. I'm actually a shy, shy person. I think I've told you guys that before. If you guys ever see me out and about, if you guys live in Sacramento and you guys see me, first of all, don't be afraid to come up to me and say hi. Number one, I'm gonna look mean because that's just my face, but I'm not. Come up to me and say hi. My face will change and I will talk to you, number one. Number two, I'm shy, so you'll probably have to hold the whole conversation because that's just me. I'm very shy and I'm a little bit awkward and that's just me. So I'm not a social butterfly. I'm not gonna be talking to everyone at this place because I don't know the people at her church. I know her, I mean, the people there are nice. I've been to her church before. So I do know a few faces and I've seen some of them before and talked to them at the events or whatever. So they do know I'm coming, but. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Anyway, I do want to go to my friend's birthday party tonight. So that will be fun. Yeah. Good morning. Is it still morning? Yes, it is. I am in Savannah's car. Nothing is wrong with my car, you guys. My car is fine. She was parked behind me in the driveway because she was actually supposed to go out again last night and she ended up not going so her car was there and I'm actually on my way to Stockton to go to that singles event I was telling you guys about and she didn't want to move her car and I didn't want to back her car out park it on the side back my car out close the garage, move her car back or whatever and it was just doing too much. So she was like, mom, just take my car. So that's what I did. Of course, I put some gas in her car. So there, I'm in her car. You guys could tell I'm not used to being in her car because I don't even like the camera angle. Y'all already know I don't want to go, but whatever. I'm only going to stay a little while and then show my face and yeah, whatever but I had so much fun last night at my friend's dinner party it was fun we laughed we talked we ate food was good company was good and yeah it was nice it was fun and yeah here we are now um, I have my chips and dip that I'm bringing today it's supposed to be a baked potato bar so that should be good. And then games and whatever. So yeah, you guys, nothing more interesting than that. Nothing else is happening. So of course I'm not gonna vlog, but if I can get any kind of clips or whatever today that I can, I will. Probably not, but if I can, I don't know. We'll see you guys. We'll see. But it's going to take 45 minutes to get to her house. So I'm in for a drive. Savannah's car is so cute, you guys. It's fit just for her. I don't know if you guys can see, but she has like a Elvis thing here. It's funny because her car is so custom for her. I feel really, oh, her car fits her. I mean, look at her steering wheel cover. Little cat ears on it. Whatever. It's so cute. Let me drive turn my music back up and get to my destination. It was supposed to start at 12 and you know a lot of events sometimes don't start on time but I'm the type of person where if you tell me it's supposed to start at a certain time, I get there on time because that's just me. I don't like getting places late because I grew up with <laughs> I grew up with the mom who was always on CP time 
and I absolutely hated that. So me as an adult, even as a young adult, I was always on time or 15 to 20 minutes early. That's how I am. So, and this is not a complaint. I'm just letting you guys know how my day went. I was actually there exactly at 12. Sorry for the rocky camera because I'm not my own car or whatever. So, got there exactly at 12. I was the second person there and they're all very nice very welcoming and like i said the lady who invited me to it she's an acquaintance i can't really call her a friend y'all i was the youngest one there and and i'm not complaining i know this comes off as complaining but i'm not complaining it was just a different crowd of people it was the oh my gosh Sorry, y'all. I, I to watch car. I'm on the freeway going home, and I'm watching this car be very reckless. I'm not in the fast lane. I'm in the middle lane on the freeway. There's three lanes. I'm in the middle lane, and in the fast lane, there's this car, and I see him coming. He's going fast, and then on the shoulder, he passed the car on the shoulder from the past fast lane to go around him being very reckless it could have been an accident anyway it's just to witness something stupidity like that anyway what was I saying people there were 70 and up the lady the acquaintance who invited me I thought she was around 60 now I'm not so sure I think she's older than that the majority of them were retired okay no big deal and no one wanted to start eating until everyone got there once again no big deal I'm not at my house so when I you go to someone else's house they're hosting things you know you abide by the hostess's rules so little things like that never bug me you know you don't go into someone else's demanding how things should be according to how you think so you know stuff like that don't bug me but also in my mind if something's supposed to start at a certain time other people that are invited you should get there on time So not everyone got there until around two. So everything technically didn't get started till two o'clock. So that's when we started eating. Now I'm being paranoid because of that one car. So then we find the eight and then we played some game called Barkle, which I never heard of. And they absolutely loved it. It's some kind of dice game. And I felt like I was playing pinochle or some kind of old person card game <laughs> i'm sorry y'all and they're very nice um will i go again probably not um yeah it just wasn't my crowd where's the church singles people my age and then when they started talking about I mean, they played this game and, okay, I'm not going to be the party pooper, like the one person that's, you know, no, I'm not going to play, I'll just watch. So, of course, I played and I'm thinking, okay, one round and then I'm going to leave because I live the, far the furthest. I don't live in Stockton, right? Um, they play until someone gets to 10,000 points. <sighs> yeah. That took forever. And then when the game was over, somebody got on the piano and started playing and somebody got started singing. And I'm like, I don't know how long they plan on staying here, but mm, I'm gonna leave pretty soon. And um, the person who was singing, her voice is really nice. And then, oh, the house that I was at, her house was really nice. It was like one of those old Victorian homes where the vents was on the floor. And I don't know if a lot of you know, but here in California, a lot of our heating and air conditioner, the vents are on the ceiling. That was nice and it was just very Victorian, very, very nice house. You could tell it was like old because when you walked on the floor, you heard yourself walking. 
this camera, you guys, I'm sorry, it's not a steady surface, so I apologize in advance for the unsteadiness. Maybe if I put it here, but then you guys can't see me because of this. Maybe if I do like this, okay. I'm not flipping you off, it's not, yeah. And then when they started talking about their spouses that passed away and stuff like that, the reason why they're single, it's like, okay, that's my cue to leave. We're not about to do this. So I told her, thank you for inviting me. I had a very nice time, which I did, you know. Of course, I wasn't gonna go in there and, you know, have an attitude or anything like that. And I left. So yeah, can't wait to get home. Y'all, it's almost a week later and I'm just now picking up the camera. I have been so busy just doing stuff. Anyway, have y'all been watching the Olympics? I love the Olympics. It's been kind of like a hot mess in Paris. Did they even want people there? I mean, from the cardboard beds to no air conditioner, but I guess a lot of European countries don't have air conditioners like we do here so that could just be a cultural thing um and then the food and then just weird things like that and then there's just so many things that are just like weird i shouldn't say weird because just because they're different there doesn't make it weird you guys watch big brother there's this contestant there her name is angela and i think she's 50 51 something like that i'm 51 so i'm thinking yeah represent for the older ladies right she came in she was all bubbly and you know big energy and whatever and I'm like yeah I like her didn't take very long for me to not like her she is unhinged and the lady's a psycho but every time she's on the block they don't take the opportunity to vote her out and it's like I'm sure being in the house is actually different than you know not being in the house but it's like there was one season where this guy his name was evil dick he terrorized the entire household the whole season and every time they had a chance to vote him out i don't know if they was afraid or what here's a mess i know just ignore it and all my grades are showing look at that Anyway, every time they had a chance to vote him out, they didn't. And he ended up winning that season. So, I don't know. I don't know. And she's not really terrorizing anyone right now. She kind of reeled back the crazy lady. But I'm sure it's going to rear its ugly head again because you can tell it's in her. So, yeah, that's what I've been watching. Hello. It is the next day. The girls actually went shopping and running a few errands. I didn't want to go because I don't want to spend any money. I'm trying to save for a few things. So I stayed at home. So yeah, I'm just watching A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I do have the book and it's a series. Normally, I would read the books before I watch any kind of movies or anything like that. But I don't know, I'm doing it backwards this time. So tomorrow's the last night of the Olympics, the Summer Olympics. I'm so sad because I really enjoy the Olympics. I do watch the Winter Olympics when it comes on, but not as much. I'm not like glued to my TV as much for the Winter Olympics. I do like the ice skating and what else do they have um i may watch some of the skiing a little bit of the snowboarding but the year that oh my gosh i can't think of his name it was on the blades and I, I don't know anyway i don't really watch it as much but for the summer olympics when it comes on i am glued to it every single night and the only time i didn't watch it was the two nights that I went to Bible study, but I did watch it after when I came back. So yeah, but last night, track and field, American ladies, 
did their thing with the relay races when they passed the baton and each one that ran got faster and faster and oh my goodness y'all what's her name shikari she did her thing y'all if you seen it when she was running because i was like where is she where is she because i knew she's fast right and of course i'm rooting for usa I'm like, where is she? She looked at, I think, like, Germany. She came by, like, Roadrunner. She was like, meet, meet, and she was gone. And then she crossed the finish line. I was so happy. They did their thing. I'm not doing nothing, y'all. I'm, I'm not doing nothing. I'm actually about to film. It's an ongoing video. It's, who knows when it's going to be up. Y'all know I already told you about my kitchen. I'm going to film a video that's going to go add it to that. I got some more items delivered earlier this week for my kitchen so i'm gonna work on that while i film that video i'm so excited so yeah i'm gonna get change and do that so i can um get that going but i'm not doing anything today so this vlog is not gonna have a whole lot in it so of course i'm probably just gonna continue it tomorrow this is probably gonna be it for today as far as this goes the closing ceremony is tomorrow for the olympics so today is actually the last full day i'm so sad i have so much videos on youtube to catch up on because when the olympics when it's time i'm here and i'm watching it i know there's a lot of other things basketball and archery and what do you call that thing I'm gonna sound really silly right now where they have one hand behind their back and like the unguard and whatever <laughs> what do you call that fencing yeah i know they play that and table tennis and other stuff like that but i'm glad they really don't show those at night because my favorite is gymnastics swimming track and field and i like volleyball i like basketball i don't really care to watch those as much i like diving and a synchronized swimming but i'm glad at night they show the majority of gymnastics and i know i'm rambling gymnastics which is over right now and then now it's the track and field so i'm glad for that and yeah i'm just rambling on and on so okay that's it for now oh and one more thing about the olympics of course break dancing really Australia she had a PhD in break dancing supposedly I seen all the memes all the videos on TikTok about she actually went on and thought she performed this wonderful fabulous routine and now she's a laughing stock y'all now that the Olympics are over I'm at the point to what do I watch now it was what 16 17 days now I don't know what to do with my time at night I guess I'll go back to reading because I stopped reading because the Olympics were on and I love the Olympics so yeah anyway tomorrow i am going to today's friday did i tell you guys that tomorrow savannah and i are going to a lady's tea cheyenne doesn't want to go so we're gonna do that so the geriatric singles party i shouldn't say that i feel bad for saying that because those people are really nice anyway the singles party that i went to I tried to make that my last thing completely and when I was leaving I don't even remember if I told you guys this 
when I was leaving, she gave me a ticket to the ladies tea at her church and you know, it's paid for already and we'd love to have you there, whatever. So Savannah wants to go, so I'm taking her with me. And it's like, of course I'm gonna go because I didn't know she was gonna give that to me and obviously she spent her money to buy the ticket so I'm not gonna let her money go to waste. So I'm gonna go. It's just that whole situation of them trying to get me with a pretty much a almost 70 year old man. It's insane. I never said, okay, we're, we're not gonna go into that. Anyway, so we're gonna do that tomorrow and that's the only plans I have this weekend, you guys. Um, yeah. Working from home today. I am on my first break. Decided to throw a load of towels in the wash and I'm dressed like this with this on because on my lunch break I'm going to hopefully you guys can hear me so I have to speak up. On my lunch break I am going to take a walk in the neighborhood get some exercise in. Y'all, I haven't really been up to much at all. Anytime I wear this scarf, it's because I'm home or I'm exercising or something like that. But look, I don't know if you guys can see, but look at these gray hairs, y'all. Anyway, my Aunt Diane gave me this product 
that she uses so I need to get that. I was talking about my gray hair and lately you guys I've been wearing a lot of ponytails which I have no problem with. I have no desire to like get my hair braided. I feel like that stage of my life is over. Not that I can't get my hair braided anymore. I don't want to sit in the chair all that time and then it takes a long time to take it out. I don't know I just don't have the energy for it and I just don't want to do it. Cheyenne said the other day Mom, you're going to have to start getting ponytails with gray hair in them. I don't have that much gray hair yet. It's not time. It's not time. I still have like five minutes on my break. I know y'all didn't ask, but I wear this a lot. No, not this particular one, but I wear the bandanas a lot when I work out because I sweat so much in my head that I don't want to have to wear a ponytail. I'm not trying to look cute when I exercise or anything like that. So yeah, that's the reason why when I work out or any type of exercising or things that I know I'm going to sweat, I put this on my head because I sweat so much. I've always been that way, even when I was smaller in size. So don't tell me it's because I'm a big lady. No, I used to sweat like this when I was a smaller lady. So yeah, I just sweat a lot in my head. So yeah, I know y'all didn't ask, like I said, but ooh, these edges, okay. Y'all made it home. Um, with five minutes to spare before I clock back in. I wiped my face off before I turned the camera on because I was glistening and I'm probably still glistening a little bit now. have my little fan on right here, but I did a mile. How is it that when you do a mile, like when you're actually walking, it seems faster than when you're on a treadmill? It seems like it takes me 45 minutes to do a mile on the treadmill. I'm sure it doesn't take that long, but in my mind, I feel like I'm there like 45 minutes to an hour for one mile when I knocked this mile out in less than 30 minutes. Cause I didn't leave the house right away at my lunch time. And then when I got home, like I said, I had five minutes to spare and I took my time. I wasn't speed walking, I took my time. So yeah, I have three more minutes. So. Let me get some water, continue to, whew, before I have to clock back in. Hey everybody. So yes, you hear my fan behind me and I'm a mess because I worked out earlier. Today's Tuesday? Nope, today's not Tuesday. Today's Thursday. Yeah, anyway, I worked out earlier and it's after work. Um, so I'm, I'm about to get in the shower in a little bit, but y'all, do I have a story time for you? And it's a doozy. But first, you know my top, my head's cut off, it's okay. Anyway, but first, I wanna show you guys what I got. So, I'm a side sleeper, right? And this is not sponsored at all, but I'm a side sleeper and when I sleep, I sleep like the dead. Especially, well, now more so, I did when I was younger and then I have sleep apnea if you guys didn't know I do have a wear machine at wear machine I do wear the mask at night so now that I'm wearing my mask I sleep like the dead again so when I sleep I'm on my side and apparently I don't move I'm sure I do some kind of movement or whatever but I wake up and my shoulder is hurting so what I have done is I bought this pillow that's supposed to help with that now there is one you can actually use this also if you have acid reflux which I don't and I think the difference between that and this one but don't quote me is the acid reflux one is a little bit higher than this one so yeah let me show you guys I'm excited hopefully I will get to use it tonight and I say hopefully because it's in this box that I'm going to show you guys but you're supposed to let everything like air out because I'm sure it has like a, a smell to it, a box smell, whatever. And plus it has to puff up. Y'all know what I'm saying, right? Okay. 
So let me show you. Okay, this is it, the shoulder relief system. And I'm just using this to cover up my information because it's bigger than my hand. So I just had to find something to cover it up. Anyway, gotta be safe, especially after what I'm gonna tell you guys. Anyway, so that's the pillow and what it's going to look like. So yeah, let's get this open and ignore my messy living room. box is humongous y'all I hope you guys yeah you guys can still see so it just tell you tells you right here how to assemble it even though it's pillows it's not that hard remove plastic with slips with slivers <laughs> with scissors fluff it up shake it set it up in your bed sensitive to the smell of new foam don't worry the smell dissipates in 24 to 48 hours that's what I mean by the smell yeah you know what I'm saying Okay, so we have this right here, which we're going to go ahead and open, because I should have brought scissors and not a knife, because I don't want to cut this, but then you guys really can't see me back spot, but sorry. little pillow and oh it doesn't smell too bad okay I'm good we're good okay this one I think is the long pillow so I will open that up last and that here's the wedge and what I mean about how the one for acid reflux is bigger, it means the wedge just goes up higher. So that's what I mean. All right. Yeah, it doesn't smell too bad. I mean, it has an odor, not a stinky odor, but yeah. Oh, okay. okay. The opening right there oops you guys can't see okay and the opening right there is where I will put this little kidney bean looking pillow once it fluffs up and then For the granddaddy of all pillows, this one is like a candy cane shape. Oh my goodness, look at this y'all. getting big already but yeah okay let me go lay this on my bed and give it time to fluff up and then we'll come back to this later like I guess before I go to bed I'll show you guys yeah okay so because I am who I am I went ahead and I took all three of the pillows the fabric that's on it and I threw it in the wash so yeah we'll get back to that tonight yeah so y'all I think my baby girl was targeted we all do the police think so we all do so let me set the scene okay so Savannah works at a car wash if you guys didn't know and of course, I'm not gonna say which one. There are thousands of car wash places in Sacramento. So she works at a car wash and I'm trying to choose my words carefully. 
So we're at home. She's at work. Shine and I are on the couch and I had on my house dress. I had on socks. My ponytail was off because that's my signature look right now. I'm just that's just what I do. And so I'm looking kind of crazy. No bra on TMI, but I'm trying to let you guys know how I was looking. I was in my house being comfortable in for the night. So I thought, right? So we're just sitting here on the couch, chit chatting, watching stuff on YouTube or whatever. And we get a text from Savannah that she sent to both of us. And she said, I will read it off to you guys. She said, hey, do any one of you guys want to come sit at my job the last hour we're open? And I said, what happened? She said, this cop came up to me and told me there are some guys that have been parked here for more than 20 minutes watching me and he doesn't want me to be alone. I said, coming. I did not stop to put a bra on. I did not try to throw that ponytail back on. I grabbed my purse as I was and I got in the car and took off. And Cheyenne, she seen the text too, so she knew, knew where I was going. So as I'm driving there, because when your child tells you, I don't care if they're five or 25, that's still your baby. You know, even Cheyenne, she's my oldest, that's still my baby. Tyreek's still my, they're my babies. So if they need me, mama's there. As I'm driving, then I look down and I'm like, I realized how crazy I look, but still at that moment, I didn't care because I didn't plan on getting out of, out of the car. I was just going to watch their surroundings and I'll let you guys know what I mean, whatever. Um, but I'm telling you, if I had to get out the car and swing for my baby, I would have no bra and all. I would have been looking crazy. I would have been looking like one of the people of Walmart, but this was an emergency and my car is a fishbowl, so I feel like everyone can see that I look crazy even though I'm sure people weren't paying attention to me anyway so I get to her job and I asked her in detail what happened so where she was at her job and I just keep looking at my phone multiple people had called in and they couldn't find a lot of people to cover those shifts so they were short staffed so where she was there's usually more people she wouldn't have been alone but this particular day she was there by herself and it wasn't dark and it's not off to the side, it's not in the back, it's just she was alone, okay? So she said usually she pays attention to everything but this, partic this particular day they were busy because they were short staffed and she wasn't really scoping out the, or paying attention to the area. So apparently three cars that came in three, and these three cars were all black and they had tinted windows, dark tinted windows, and even the drivers and the passenger side windows were completely blacked out. I don't know, but I thought that in California, the passengers and driver side window cannot be blacked out and as dark as everything else, but this was like a limo all around. Well, of course not the front you couldn't see anything let me back up a little bit I'm just trying to remember the story to tell you guys correctly I mean I remember it but there's so much detail that I want to let you guys know anyway I get there and I park next to her car but she had moved her car and I asked her I'm like what's going on so she said you see those two cars over there and she was trying to tell me to play it you know quietly and I'm like no I'm not doing it they gonna know that mama's here or somebody's here and I see you you know, so she said she was where she was doing her job. She was the only one there. And I guess maybe five or six guys were standing in their car staring at her. Let me go back a little bit. I know you guys are like, girl, just tell a story. Three cars came in and their windows were blacked out. So they all three parked and one left. One went through the wash and then parked next to the other car that they came in with. 
and it looked like they were vacuuming out their car when they checked the cameras they did a, they looked like they were doing a little bit something but then after that they just stood outside the car their car and stared at savannah and then they had a girl with them so where savannah was this guy not one of the guys that were in the car walked up to her and he said hey how's it going and she's you know like oh hi and of course she was like okay what do you want and so she said the way he pulled his badge out of his pocket and flashed it it was like so smooth like he's he he did this before whatever and i asked savannah i said do you know what a real badge looks like she said no but it, um you know it looked like a real badge i don't even know what a real badge looks like we know this was a cop because of what he did and said and anything everything like that so he said hi my name's so and so i'm a cop he said the area that he was from he was just here in sacramento visiting family and he said he got his car washed and because he's a cop he's always taught to even though it was his day off to pay attention to surroundings and whatever and stuff and he said he just got a really weird vibe from those guys and after he was vacuuming his car he was just looking he kept looking and seeing what was going on and whatever and he couldn't hear what they were saying but the whole entire time they kept talking to each other and like nodding at savannah and whatever and okay very well they could have been like oh she's pretty because yes my daughter's beautiful but you're there with two and then it was three blacked out cars well, i say blacked out anyway and so if i can because we took pictures of the car. If I can, I will put a picture up of the car. If I can block out the surroundings and their license plate. Because we got everything. He said, I see you're over here by yourself today. And I know there's usually more than one person. I wouldn't feel comfortable if I didn't say anything. So is there any way we can let your boss know or whatever? I, I just can't. I don't want to leave you alone. I do have to go, but I don't want to leave you alone. She immediately was like, okay, yeah. So he walks her to the front. And if you're thinking what I thought too, well, what if he was with them or whatever? No, the way he walked her was where everyone was. He didn't walk her towards those cars. So, and she already said, she said, mom, if he had went any direction towards where those cars was, she said, I was going to take off running. I'm like, I don't blame you. So he walked her to the front and got the manager, told him the situation. There's cameras all around the car wash or whatever. The manager, he was on it. He sent guys out to where Savannah was and brought all the girls to the front because there's some pretty cute girls at my daughter's job. And if they were looking at my daughter, I'm sure they were looking at some of the other ones too. By the time I got there, she was already up to the front. So she's telling me this story. And I said, what cars, you know? And so she showed me where they were. And that's why I'm like, you, you can't see anything in it. And so I started taking pictures of the license plate. And of course, I couldn't get out of my car. So I drove around. As I'm driving around, I have my phone like this. And I'm looking at the car. And it's like, I'm letting you know, we are aware, we know, we know you're here, we know you up to something or whatever. Even though I couldn't visibly see them, I wanted to make it known, you're suspicious. So I did that and I drove back around, parked my car next to hers, and then I took a picture of their license plate so then Cheyenne got there not too long after I did and she's looking crazy too not her hair but you know she wasn't dressed appropriately for outside walking around so she stayed in her car as well and she backed in so when she backed in I told her I said can you see their license plate really good I have it on the video but I want a picture of their license plate so she's trying to do it you know where they i said no let it be known let it be known that you're taking a picture i don't know if they were looking no one got out of the car so i'm trying to pay attention my head's on a swivel i'm trying to pay attention making sure no one gets out the car or if they do my eyes are on them i don't care if i looked crazy i was gonna get out that car we had been there like 20 minutes and they still were in their cars and mind you it was a hot day windows rolled up completely and it's like 
I seen the driver's side window of the second car and it never went down. So apparently they were talking to each other on the phone or something because when they left, they just left together. They have to have seen me, especially if they were looking for her. You hear the car start up, the brake lights, and then they back up and they leave. And I have that all on video. We're like, okay, good. Maybe they seen her talking to us and her pointing. And I said, I don't care, make it obvious. I pointed and I have my phone shine her phone. We just making it known. You know what I'm saying? You, you get the picture. So I'm like, even though I couldn't see them, maybe they seen that we knew what they were up to or suspected them of something. So they left. Maybe about 10 minutes, Cheyenne said, I'm going to go circle around in her car to see if she sees the car. They were not, and she did that a couple of more times. We stayed there until she closed. The car is at left. I'm like, good, but of course, I'm still staying because, you know, that's my baby and I, I, I'm still staying. And everywhere she went, my eyes were on her. My head was on a swivel. When she was in front of me, I seen her doing her job inside. And then another young lady, she like taking out the garbage. I'm watching her. And then when I didn't see her come back for a while, I'm like not panicking, but like, okay, where is she? Where is she? So, you know, took her a little bit with the garbage. Then she came back. So I was just making sure everyone was safe. And the police officer, he did say that he'd been in the field a long time. He's seen these kind of things before. They usually have girls with them to make people feel comfortable. And who knows what they were up to. And I'm thinking maybe they were trying to rob them. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is not today, Satan, because I'm a firm believer of no weapon formed against you shall prosper. It was only God that uh, only the Lord that had that cop there because Savannah said if it wasn't for that cop telling her that she would have been in that area by herself. And who knows what they would have done. Try to take advantage. It was the Lord. It was the Lord. You can't tell me otherwise. It was the Lord. They do all their closing duties. The manager, he came out and he said, thank you so much for being here watching, you know, being our eyes, even though we have cameras and, you know, we felt protected. And I'm like, of course, your safety is important. Of course, I'm going to be here when my daughter says she needs me or anything like that. Then everyone got in their cars and I watched the other people drive off. Me and Cheyenne, Savannah got in her car. I'm like, I'm following you home. So then I got home and I'm like, what do I do with this? I have these pictures of these suspicious cars and you know they were up to something. I ended up calling non-emergency number and I told the officer who I spoke with, I told her everything and she was like, well, who was this officer? Because it was kind of suspicious that this and this and that. Okay, I get that. I do get that. C cops are taught to be suspicious of certain behavior. But at the same time, I'm thinking, why would he tell her that, bring her to safety, and get in a separate car. He wasn't with the guy. So I get what she was saying. I told her we had pictures, we have videos. I told her exactly what happened. And she said, well, what's the license plate make and model of the car? So I gave her that when I gave her the first one. And she was like, okay. I gave her the second one. I heard, and she's like, oh, one moment. And, and she put me on hold. And I'm like, is that somebody they're looking for? Is Has that car been involved in something? I know I heard a, like, a gasp in her voice and like three minutes later she came back okay and let's repeat that again so I repeated the car and that license plate she's like okay we, we, we got it and I didn't say anything and I know if there's something they're working on or some kind of case I don't know she wouldn't be able to tell me but it was something going on. They were going to send an officer to my daughter's job the next day to get video footage also. So, yeah, you guys, that was scary. The next night, I went to her job also to sit there and, you know, make sure she was safe. So, yeah, you guys, 
what do you think that was scary that was scary i know that is like you always hear about stories of it happening to people but it's like you don't see firsthand or whatever and my daughters are beautiful i'm not gonna lie they are and i'm not no worried about nobody taking me number one i'm too old number two i'm too big so you can't just pick me up and throw me nowhere that was scary that was scary i do know and i'm thankful for that police officer and it's funny because we always hear about different stories like in the church and stuff like that and we were like what if that wasn't even a cop what if that was an angel you know that god sent you probably think i'm crazy whatever but i do believe that angels walk amongst us and what i mean by that is the bible says that we have possibly entertained angels unaware yes i believe that i totally believe the word of god so yeah you guys it, it was scary I'm glad her job is taking it serious and not just, oh, you'll be okay, you're fine, we got the video, they left, you know, and just whatever. So, yeah. What y'all think? Do y'all think they were targeting her to pull her in their car and take her away? Did y'all know? I think I told you guys a long time ago, but if you didn't know, I will tell you again. My dad was a police officer, right? My dad passed away when I was 19, but he was a police officer. It was on his day off, and he caught a rapist that they had been looking for. If I remember when I edit this to get up and find the article, because it's deep in my closet somewhere, I'll try to put it up here so you guys can see. He got awards from the mayor and all that. My dad, my daddy caught him on his day off. Yeah, that's the story on how we think my daughter was targeted. For what? I'm not sure. But thank God he intervened. Okay, so it's much later. I'm actually about to wind it down, go to bed. So I cleared my bed off because I do have my Bible over there. I know you guys can see it, but I also had a bunch of stuff over there. So, single woman problems. So, this is how it's supposed to go. And this little kidney bean, little pillow, goes in the center right here where you can put your arm through. And then over here on the other side as well, candy shape candy cane shaped pillow I need to cut these off I did take it off and wash it I just put it back together but anyway the candy cane shaped pillow that you can you know put your leg across I am going to put that under the cover so I'm gonna sleep with it tonight and hopefully it works out I laid on it a few seconds ago and I like it so far so we will see if I wake up with a sore shoulder or sore on either side yeah you guys that's what it's looking like I didn't realize how monstrous this thing was going to be this is huge it is Friday it's after work and I just wanted to hop on and give you guys a one night update on that <laughs> pillow system that I got I know it's only been one night but I actually loved it it was soft I felt that I got a really good night's sleep but let me tell you the thing, I ended up putting another pillow underneath my face and even though it elevated me a little bit more, it wasn't that bad because just laying on the candy cane shaped pillow, I don't know what the material is, but it's not flat or smooth like a pillowcase or anything like that. It's some kind of fabric or material that goes in one direction and you know, you I can't explain it, but I don't like that on my face maybe it's a sensory thing the rest of my body I feel fine but on my face it just felt wrong there's actually two ways you can um, put your arm through let me show you so I'm just gonna show you in the little brochure brochure here so you can either put your arm all the way through like that and they have openings on either side or if you don't want to do that you can do it like this and sleep like that right okay so i tried both ways just to see how or what felt most comfortable and i put my arm all the way through 
and I usually start out sleeping on my left side so that's how I did I had my arm all the way through so comfortable felt like I was sleeping on a cloud on part like between my knees and it just it just aligned my body so good I fell asleep I kid you not in less than five minutes once I lay down the night goes on and I remember every time I woke up to roll to the other side I had to wake completely up because I would try to roll over but then yet I would take the pillow with me because my arm is through there and so I would have to wake up take my arm out and like put my arm through the other side or whatever so it might sound like a hassle but okay whatever it was comfortable so then at one point I woke up I don't wake up a lot throughout the night anymore now that I have my CPAP I did wake up to go to the bathroom and I found that I apparently had taken my arm out from underneath that thing and I was still sleeping on my arm but I think it's because last night was a little bit nippy got a little bit cold so I guess in my sleep I was like mm -mm, I want to stay warm so I'm hoping that was the case but then it's like okay winter's gonna be here then how am I gonna keep my arm warm if it's sticking out or whatever I don't know I'll figure out something but I still woke up on my arm but as far as the comfortableness that word of the pillow only been one night I like it so far it's huge it's a big monstrous thing imagine if I was married and we both had one we'd have to have a California king size bed or something like that anyway so yeah I like it I didn't get it for any kind of health reasons or anything like that I just didn't know that they had something like this and when a friend of mine suggested it I looked it up and I'm like because we were talking about side sleeping and she was saying how she always wakes up you know or she used to wake up with her arms sore because she sleeps on her side but she has this new pillow or whatever I didn't even know there was such a thing yeah so that's why I got it and I am not disappointed <laughs>